Today we're here to celebrate the uh, official opening of uh, a fabulous 1.5 kilometer extension to the segregated cycle lane between Beeston uh, Ring Road and uh, Garnet Road, which will help connect to a 4.4 kilometer continuous network uh, leading towards the city centre and the opportunities the city centre brings to the people of this area. It certainly gives an opportunity for those people who are really keen to convert from a car to bike, an actual safe segregated route. I was putting on a bit too much weight and I was being really lazy. I had a car and there was a cycle to work scheme. So I got rid of my car. Uh, there was too much wrong with it to fix. And I wanted a bike and uh, I wanted a nice electric bike so that I could pull my daughter's trailer because I work evenings so I can pick her up after work. And if she's maybe gone to sleep, I can chuck her in the trailer. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been perfect. So today, uh, myself and my colleague uh, from the Neighbourhood Policing Team, uh, we're here and we're working in conjunction with the bike register, securing people's bikes. So it'll be a case of bring the bikes down, a uh, little bit of crime prevention advice, and marking those bikes up specifically to make those safer. So that individual bike links that individual person, making it more secure. Cross Flats has been one of our first cycle hubs that we've set up through our Places to Ride funding. Um, so part of the funding's come from us, British Cycling, and then the other half came from Leeds City Council and, and surrounding areas. We realised that we've been trying to work in these parks previously, but cycle ownership's quite low, so by having this access to this cycle hub with the free bikes, we can come and activate and give people the opportunity to uh, ride a bike. It'll help work towards our decarbonisation targets, particularly important now as we're uh, about to go into the United Nations COP26 summit and it's really key on the agenda. And also really open up those economic opportunities for people in these communities, for those people who can't afford to drive or use a bus. They've now got a safe, easy route into the city centre to access those really important job opportunities we have.